Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. Today we're going to do a lot of like just random home things so I wanted to take you guys along. We are finally starting to plant some stuff in the backyard and I'm so excited about this. A lot of the seeds and bulbs that I got said to plant after the last frost and I'm still really confused about the whole thing and it's all gonna be trial and error so if you see me doing something wrong I'll definitely be learning lessons so feel free to give me advice and I know I'm planting late i feel like for a lot of the things but i'm just gonna do it anyways because i bought it and i'm just really excited about it so i'm just gonna kind of try everything and kind of take notes on what grows well what doesn't and all the things um i don't think i vlogged it actually but ryan made me some raised beds in the backyard we actually just got back from home depot and got a bunch more plants <laughs> Like I, I really need to be stopped, but I'll try to do like a little plant haul. Such a pretty day and I just saw that part of the fence is like breaking, which we need to get a new fence. We really just need to like bite the bullet and do it. We've actually gotten a couple of quotes, so it's just us kind of pulling the trigger on it. But let me show you guys the raised beds over here. So we actually like scraped around, but then we read the directions and it said to plant like later. So obviously grass grew back, so we're gonna have to scrape it again, which honestly, it was kind of hard. Like it was definitely harder than I thought it would be. And then over here, we have the Amazon raised bed, which I can link for you guys. I'm gonna do herbs in this one so that I can literally just raise the window and like get mint or oregano or whatever I want for my cooking. And we got a dolly because we need to um, finally get the laundry room done and I'm not really sure if we'll have time or energy to do it today. We're gonna need this to get the washer and dryer out so we can do the peel and stick tile, but we got some soil and yeah, I think we're ready to garden. Plant haul starting off with my favorite one that we got. We got a peach tree and it already has some flowers on it. It's kind of tough to get it here in the car, but we did it. So I'm excited to plant that. You and your cowboy hat and me. Oh, okay. <laughs> and me and my Texas hat and <laughs> Jacoba's like, what in the world? <laughs> what are we doing? And playing the morgues. I also got this gardenia plant. This reminds me of childhood because I feel like my mom used to love having these in her garden or like just around the house and it smells so freaking good. Um, what is this? I got a jalapeno, I got some tomatoes and tomatoes and what's this one? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what that one is. Everything I've collected within the past month or so, we got some onions, garlic, lots of flowers. I'm so excited to grow flowers. Hopefully they all work out. Strawberries, peach tree of course, and I also have some herbs. I think they're in an Amazon package that I haven't opened. I think they just got here last night. It ain't much, but it's an honest living. <laughs> uh, I was trying to get some topsoil. This grass already grew back from the last time we did it. I'm just digging it up a little bit, sticking this top layer off. I got it wet, so it'll be a little easier. I got these little label markers so that I know exactly what is where and what I'm growing because I feel like I'm definitely gonna forget if I plant like every single thing that I have. Just so much. Comes with a ton of these little things. Finally, for the fun part, we're gonna actually plant the stuff. It still has the tag on it. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and plant these dahlias. I think I'm gonna plant them in the back since they'll probably grow pretty tall. I truly have no idea what I'm doing, so don't take any tips from me, but we're gonna get started by digging holes. Up. What is that? Yeah. Rock? Where's Sophie? Hmm. Said I'm pooped. Now we're just gonna plant some of these zinnias right along this because it's not bulbs it's just seeds so we're just gonna rake it box one complete which was flowers i do have more flowers to plant but we'll stick to that for now now we're gonna plant some vegetables tomatoes garlic onion 
um, banana peppers. Let's do it. I'm not even gonna lie, I feel like we're cheating because we're using these from Home Depot, but whatever. We're gonna water these and then put some topsoil on, water them again, so that hopefully it all kind of meshes together. We're gonna plant the peach tree now. That's like the official tree of Georgia. Like there's all the peach tree roads and everything. Uh, we saw it at Home Depot, so we had to get it. And we're gonna plant it right here, hoping it's not too shady. All right, Sophie, you wanna help? She said, I'm a country dog. I don't just pee on the concrete. You said, where's my water? Where's your water? It's outside right there. All right, now we're gonna do some herbs in this little planter over here. We have a lot of varieties to choose from. If there's room, we'll try to plant all of them, but we definitely want cilantro, mint, and basil. So it turns out I did have enough energy to finally knock out the laundry room floor. It's been unfinished ever since we did the wooden floors because I knew I wanted to do something different in here. And then I found these peel and stick tiles from Amazon and I thought they were perfect. Even though I could have definitely just bought, you know, regular tiles and it still would have been not too expensive because it is a smaller space. But I honestly was just really intrigued and wanted to see if these worked because if you have been following me for a while. I did peel and stick backsplash in my apartment. So I feel like I had it down and this was a lot easier, let me tell you. The only reason I didn't finish it today was because I ran out of tiles. I think if I didn't do it diagonal, I wouldn't have ran out and it would have been a lot easier, but I thought it would just look a little bit better, especially because we have a nice view going in from the kitchen into the laundry room so i did want to make it diagonal just make it look a little bit more unique i'm the type of person that doesn't really read directions like i'll skim through them but if they say you know try starting from the middle and then going out and like measure i am not about that life and obviously it can lead to some mistakes down the line but that's just how i roll and i think it turned out really really good the only thing i made sure to do was to put the white tiles all in the same direction so you can kind of see the marbling i tried to make them all face the same direction i just did the easier part today which is the middle and then when i got more tiles later on i had to cut everything so that was a little bit harder but it was still doable it is 7 p.m and it's still light outside today was the day that our clock sprung forward and i don't know how i feel about it to be honest i was on such a roll with like waking up pretty early and going to the gym and stuff and now i feel like it's gonna be a struggle tomorrow morning but we finished all of the planting there are some flowers that i maybe want to plant in the front yard but we ran out of soil so we need to go get more herbs are in here and then some fruit and vegetables and more flowers are over there as you guys saw i was doing some peel and stick tile over in the laundry room finally you guys like i've had these peel and stick tiles purchased for a very long time and we just needed to buy a dolly or rent a dolly from home depot we just ended up buying one um to get the laundry washer and dryer out of there this is what it looks like right now i didn't get to finish it because i did run out of tile i think if i did it um like this way and not diagonal 
then I don't think I would have ran out. Since I did a diagonal, there's gonna be a lot more to cut, which I'm kind of wondering if I should just hire someone to do that, but cutting wasn't horrible, I guess. And plus on this side, the washer and dryer is gonna cover it, so I'm low-key like not even wanting to do <laughs> that stuff. I know you guys are probably like, no, finish the whole thing, but I don't know, it's not gonna be seen. And unless we sell the house without the washer and dryer, like no one's really gonna be able to tell. Anyways, this is what it looks like and I think it looks really freaking good. And then another home update. So the reason why I wasn't talking on the camera when I was doing peel and stick tile is because this was being built right over here um, by this guy named Brandon that actually remodeled our stairs. So let me know if you guys want his contact. Um, but he built this Ikea thing. Basically our cabinets are Ikea and we just wanted more cabinetry to match because we're gonna put this thing right over here, move the fridge over here. Why? I'm not really sure, but <laughs> I wanted to. I don't know. Why are we doing that? Because I want to? Why do you want to? I don't know. Now I'm confused. Yeah. And that was not very cheap, so. You gonna push this against there all the way or not? Yeah, I do. I actually just thought about like that there's gonna be probably a little gap. It's nice that he put cardboard underneath it. Oh shit. I did not think about that gap, right? Oh wait, this side doesn't have that gap though. Over here. Mm -hmm. Like this is flush. Oh. Right here. Well the back or that's gonna have one here then. What do you mean? Like that's this Oh the fridge? Yeah. Like, that's more, I don't know, I feel like that's fine if a fridge has it. You know what I mean? This thing slides across the ground. What? Oh. I thought he said he, I thought it said, he said it came with feet. No? One thing I'm not confused about is that I know where we're going to go eat for once. We're gonna try a new place called Muse Sushi. It's here in South Austin. It's like a casual sushi restaurant, but it looks pretty good. So I'll let you guys know how it is. We're in Target now and look at this collab. Girl Scout cookies and native. And we just smelled the Samoas. And they even mm -hmm. well. Coconut caramel, whatever the. Oh yeah, and that was pretty on point. But the thin mint was too much. The peanut butter was disgusting. <laughs> this is, you know what these smell like, right? Truffles. Tree foils. It that, okay. That yeah. that one's good. The peanut butter one was peanut disgusting. The peanut butter smelled like <clears throat> a candle that like would kill you. <laughs> yeah. I think it was just too strong. My son would have allergy. What? That's how the mess sound of the allergy smells. Don't like it. Like, I think the first smell is horrible, but like it's fine now, but why do you want to smell like the peanut best. butter? Very yeah. interesting collab. I don't know. I just thought I'd share with you guys. Bro. Ryan, why did we come to Target? You want to get croissants? <laughs> no, because you wanted Reese's. Yeah, you wanted your Reese's. You should eat all my sushi. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to be here. Do Looking at press ons. On. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought you were going to go get your Reese's. But I popped off all my press ons today. Look how freaking long my nails are. I'm kind of shocked. And they like feel strong too. But you know, your girl's got to have her nails did. I've officially gotten my friend on press ons, and one of my favorite brands is Olive and June. But they don't really have like that many like neutral colors like every day like they have some fun patterns but they're just not my vibe so i always go to like the one i usually get but then these are the ones that i actually just popped off which were super cute but i think these are definitely more expensive i remember paying like 15 dollars for those oh yeah oh interesting they're chill oh they got more down here eh, i don't really love i'm not in the mood for like fun nails oh wait what's that Oh, wait, it's like, um, it's like a sticker that you put on your nails, like tortoise, that could be fun. I've always wanted to try OPI ones, but again, like, why do they not have, like, everyday colors? Like, I literally just want, like, a cute nude pink color, and here's that, but this is, like, really short. Okay, I just turned around and I saw all of these. 
new collab olive and june ones but like again they're so fun that it's just like not my vibe right now like there's a time and place for fun nails and i just need some good nude ones doing a little doing sunday reset little we'll pick up and i'm just putting away everything and look at sophie I got this mini Kendra Scott tote bag and a little bandana for her. And she's just such a bougie girl. Sophie! She's here shopping now. She Guys, had a bath I'm... today too. She had a bath today and she's so soft and I actually trimmed her face. I've been trying to learn so I don't have to go get her groomed. One bone please. <laughs> just one bone. <laughs> <laughs> Two treats for me, that's all. I'm very excited because we are getting our kitchen nook table tomorrow. I have yet to order chairs for it because I kind of wanted to see it in person and like nothing really stood out to me. So I really need to like start looking for some chairs. But yeah, we just got the house professionally clean like this past week and she did such an amazing job. When I tell you, I almost cried walking into my closet because she just like did some feng shui and I just like literally felt better about it. And like she also hung up all of her clothes and did some of Ryan's laundry, which I did not like realize she would do. Um, anyways, she was so good. And now our house is cluttered again. Like I feel like I disappointed her honestly. Um, but anyways, we need that to get the heck out of here before like 9 a.m. because that's when they're bringing the table. We'll probably post on like next door neighbor to see if anyone can get it. Um, but anyways, I'm just, I'm trying Let's to see. pick everything uh, up, Austin, Texas. I wish you might have like a cool patch or something on it. Aw, nice. you should have waited in line then. If I was invited, I would have. Damn. <laughs> I um, got him a hat at one of the South by Southwest events tomorrow, or yesterday. Oh, <laughs> oh what the? <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> That's it. What the heck? Are you gonna drink it or not? No, I feel like we need to keep this. This is a full bedazzled. Oh. Wait. <laughs> There's water in it. There is water in it. What is going on? What the? <laughs> this <laughs> needs to be like. On the fridge. I don't know, like on a shelf somewhere. Anyways, that was crazy. But I was um, at a South by event and like they were giving out these hats <laughs> and patching them, but I like hid the hat I already got like in line so that they would give me another hat. And I only got one patched. And I kept it for myself because I did well, the hard work of waiting. I, if you ever slam that shit in the suitcase and like get all dirty, you yeah. have this one. It's Ryan like Ryan does hate the way I disrespect my hats. <laughs> He's very OCD with them. You said it yourself, disrespect them. Well, that's why I don't have a designer purse and I know that, you know? Sushi was pretty good. We have different opinions on that. It was expensive too. It was? <laughs> yeah, because we got so much. My thing is like when I try a new restaurant, I like want to try a lot of everything. So we kind of have eyes bigger than our stomachs. At Sushi Restaurant, Muse is very casual. So we were like literally dressed in sweatpants. Um, and you order on the QR code and then they just like bring it to the table. But it was a lot of like rolls with a bunch of stuff on top, like spicy mayo and like masago, all that kind of like very good, like not junk food sushi, but you know, just like the sushi that is not as like refreshing and like almost healthy, which I used to love, but now I feel like I like the refreshing raw fish more um, and like less of all the stuff like on top of it you could see in the video there were just like stacking like ingredients on top which again it was still really good and i personally give it an 8.25 we were starting off strong with the drinks the drinks were really good i got this like lychee berry limeade thing or maybe it was just lychee berry but it was very very good and then he got thai tea the nigiri was also pretty good but ryan also didn't like love it obviously it's not like super nice quality but it's like you know more affordable so overall i would go back again the delivery guys are here for the kitchen nook table so i'll show you guys what it looks like once it comes in all right here she is here's our gorgeous kitchen nook table look at all this detail i think it is the same material as my desk but it does look a little bit different i actually like this a lot more than my desk i feel like my desk is a little bit more pink toned but it is 
perfect. The size is also perfect. I was maybe going to get a little bit bigger of a table, but I think it would have taken up a little too much room. This is the base. It's just kind of plain. It doesn't have like the marble texture on it. It is pretty heavy, but if I had like one other person, I could definitely pick it up and move it. But look how freaking cute it is. I think I filmed the last clip more than a week ago. I've been a little off my vlogging game just because I've been trying to catch up with all the vlogs I filmed and like editing them. And I'm currently in my busy season with photography. Grad season just started. So definitely been very consumed by that. But I obviously need to show you guys the updates to the kitchen nook because I actually got dining chairs. I bought them on Amazon. I really wanted something more unique and Something I haven't really seen. I've seen just like a lot of like bigger plush dining room chairs. Also a lot of boucle, but I think I've said this before. I am really trying hard to not buy anything boucle because I just feel like it's on the tail end of the trend and I don't want to buy it like when it's ending, you know? So let me give you guys a full reveal. So this is what it looks like. First off, the table is absolutely stunning. And then let's talk about these chairs because these are so... Pretty. Like I said, I got them on Amazon and this material is not boucle, it's tweed. And then this part is like bronze, which I thought was kind of cool. And then this is like a wood kind of texture. I feel like there's a lot of wood going on in my home. To be honest, I was worried about it just like not matching the floor, but I think it looks really good. I honestly thought the chairs would fill up the space a little bit more because the table isn't too big, but I thought getting a bigger table would be too big so what do you guys think i should do with this space to like fill it up more we will be putting the fridge over there but i told you guys that already also now i can explain to you guys why i want the fridge over here i originally forgot like why i even wanted to switch them but i remembered when i was editing my video i could have gotten two sizes for this cabinet but i ended up choosing the taller one because if i chose shorter than it would have been like here on the cabinets and i thought that would have looked weird plus like more storage the better so this is really tall but then the fridge over here is short so i just thought maybe having the cabinet on this side would just make it look a little bit more seamless and i just feel like having the cabinet be flush would be better and if the fridge has a little bit of a gap like it wouldn't be weird but right now as you can see there's like a little bit of a gap and I think that looks weird. Also, this fridge sticks out right here. Like when we first toured the house, we were like, why is the fridge so freaking big? Like it's jutting out. But since this area isn't like in the kitchen where I'm like cooking really, I feel like it will be fine if the fridge sticks out a little bit. Also, we might be getting some new appliances like microwave, fridge, and oven. We need to figure out logistically how we're gonna get the appliances over here. So basically my dad bought another property on 30A and he wants to get rid of the appliances there so he can upgrade them, but they're really nice appliances already. He told me if I try to sell them, like he's not even gonna get that much money. So he just give it to me as a housewarming gift. I was so excited at first because obviously just newer things would be nice. But then he took a picture of them and they're so pretty, they're white, they have like gold accents. So if we paid for a mover to like come bring them out to us, I think it would be worth it to like have upgraded appliances because we're not paying for the appliances. Like he's just gonna gift it to us. So I'm really excited about that because then once we paint the cabinets like cream and everything, it's gonna look so good in here. And I also wanna add backsplash. We got a quote to move the water line from the laundry to this so that we could put the fridge here so that's why ryan was like why do we need to switch it again because the water line is over there and obviously that's an added cost but like when i have a vision in my head it just has to be done like it has to get done the way i visioned it unless he presents me with an even better idea which that hasn't happened for this situation so that is kind of the update on that and then the laundry room i finished it now whenever i'm vlogging in the kitchen you'll be able to see my beautiful floors that i did all by myself i'm so proud of them and basically somebody told me that i needed to self-level but i think it was fine like i didn't do that obviously you guys saw in the clips i just kind of went for it and i didn't use glue you could use glue but i just ended up not using glue it did get kind of wonky over here but i cut all of the pieces out i actually finished everything and i don't know i'm like really proud of myself because i did it all by myself and look at that 
that. Obviously, we need to still put the baseboards in here and it's gonna look so good because over here, as you can tell, like I kind of messed up over here, but we do have a couple more pieces so I could probably fix that if I really wanted to. I also didn't realize you would be able to see the side, so I'm glad I did finish it up behind these. During the bathroom renovations, I had to buy a transition for the doorway, so we bought one more so I could use half of it here and then half of it in the powder bathroom whenever we get to that. So I'm not really sure how to cut it and install it, so we're just going to leave that up to the pros whenever that happens. And again, the baseboard needs to get done. Also, this is our pantry situation right now, and it's really, really bad. <laughs> but um, my solution is, you wanna guess? Throw it all away. No! We're gonna put like half of this stuff in that new cabinetry, because there's nothing in that right now. And so it's just like so much more space for like random shit that I'm not really sure I'm gonna <laughs> use. <laughs> my daily life we have a running joke that i just buy too many like random little sauces you know how many like frozen pear two things you can fit in here too oh <laughs> this is not a freezer but ryan's gonna get yeah, me an I'm outdoor fr fridge Where, when's that gonna happen or it's gonna go out. what it's gonna go out there what do you mean oh that one? Oh yeah, yeah. i forgot we said that we're gonna do freezer right yes i just yeah. told him that okay yeah so <laughs> never mind <laughs> So we'll probably try to fit this in our garage so I can have my outdoor fridge freezer situation so that I can hoard more food. I'm so excited. But anyways, back to this pantry. We'll probably just try to like consolidate. I mean, there's just like random things. Like I could fill these, but I just haven't gotten the time to like organize everything. So once I either get rid of half of these things or put half in the pantry, then there will be more room to organize and make it look cute. I've also been hoarding <laughs> these eggs. <laughs> Eggshell on his eggs. Eggshells. Well, actually one of them has eggs in them. I should probably like throw those away. But I heard that if you like blend them up, you can kind of put them all up in your garden. So that's why they're here. I just haven't done that yet. But one of these days, hopefully like tomorrow, this weekend, we're gonna blend these up and like put them all up in the garden and really get those nutrients flowing the garden let's do a little garden update it is the most gorgeous day we're finally having some really nice weather and some sun but um i already know what i fucked up guys i saw tiktoks right after i did it but this mint should have gone in a pot alone because apparently it just like takes over honestly i'd be fine with that because i really like mint and i put it in like a lot of my mocktails and cocktails so i don't really care if it takes over but we'll see how it does look at these little sprouts i can't really tell if y'all can see because it's so bright out here look how cute they literally look like the sprout emoji so we got some cilantro sprouting some basil and some chives and no mint yet but one day i am really not sure what's blooming because ryan says that is grass right there in my mind i'm just being delulu and i want it to be a flower but we'll see so all of this should be poppies right here and then back there are the vegetables that we planted. Um, over here, again, there's like some things popping out, but there's also like so many weeds in our yard. Like this grass grows so freaking fast. So we're, again, not sure. It could probably be a weed, but there are some sprouts right here. And I think these are zinnias. Over here, we also have some zinnias popping up but I'm not sure about the bulbs and how they're doing. I think bulbs like take a long time to sprout. And again, I'm not really sure if I did it right because I think I planted them too late. So if they don't sprout, we'll be fine. At least we'll have these pretty ones. I am so excited because this backyard is going to be transformed within hopefully the next month or so. We're number one getting a new fence and then we're also thinking about getting a pool, but not like an in the ground pool, one of those cowboy stock tank pools. Um, they're really popular here in Austin to the point where you can literally put on your Zillow listing that you have a pool if you have a cowboy out of the ground pool, which when I was looking at for a house, I kind of thought that was fucked up, but whatever, like whenever we sell it, we will be putting that our house has a pool if we do get this. Um, but that means we want to probably extend the deck a little bit, which wouldn't be too bad because we just need to extend it like a little further so that around the pool you could like sit and put your feet in because the cowboy pool doesn't have like a lip so if you just have the cowboy pool 
and not a deck around it, there wouldn't be an option to just like chill and put your feet in if that makes sense. So anyways, very fun updates. I will obviously take you guys throughout the process when all that stuff starts getting done. We're just now getting some quotes and trying to figure it out financially, but I'm really excited about it because I really wanted a pool in our backyard and this is gonna be the next best thing. It's just a lot more affordable than an in the ground pool. I mean, like that's just common sense because it's literally like, it's almost like a kiddie pool, but not an inflatable. So that's pretty much all the updates I have to share with you guys. Hopefully I'll vlog this weekend and try to get caught up on editing and like posting in real time. But if you guys want to see more content, daily content, I'm over on TikTok and Instagram. If TikTok gets banned, which I'm hoping it doesn't, I don't know. I feel like it's this whole shindig that they do every like couple of months. So I'm not really sure when to freaking believe it, to be honest, but let's just hope it doesn't get banned because I'm quite literally addicted. <laughs> We're having a pretty chill weekend around here. I have a pickleball double date tomorrow morning and that's literally all I have planned and I'm so looking forward to that. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button before you guys leave and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.